Hey, what is happening, friends? As you know, my name is Jared, and today I'm introducing you to someone very special. Hey, guys, I'm Charlie. Really excited to join the team, and I cannot wait to inform you guys. Now, before everyone gets triggered, Charlotte is still here, and Charlie isn't replacing her. We just thought it'd be great to add a new host, so meet Charlie. But now, it's time to get into the story, so let's get right into it. <laughs> so, if you're running for president, it's probably not the best idea for your son, who's 38 years old, to make a holocaust joke on a radio station. That is exactly what Donald Trump Jr. did when referring to the media's portrayal of Hillary compared to his father. The media has been her number one surrogate in this. Without the media, this wouldn't even be a contest, but the media has built her up. They've let her slide on every indiscrepancy, on every lie, on every DNC game trying to get Bernie Sanders out of this thing. If Republicans were doing that, they'd be warming up the gas chamber right now. Really? Out of Everything you could have compared it really you had to say that man like come on how stupid could you be if you don't know During the Second World War Hitler who was a dictator of Nazi Germany killed millions of people by using gas chambers So it's definitely not something to joke about under any circumstances Other some people think that Hitler's main target was Jews which he killed about six million He also hated anybody that just wasn't part of the Aryan race meaning Trump jr Might have not only lost his dad a few votes of the public He might have just lost in the entire election all that being said the Trump Trump campaign was quick to try to fix this little mess. They released a statement saying Donald Jr. was clearly referring to capital punishment to make the case that the media continues to take words out of context in order to serve as a propaganda arm of the Hillary Clinton campaign. Something that's only gotten worse as Trump's poll numbers have improved. And if that wasn't bad enough for Donald to deal with, his son also recently threw him under the bus in an interview, by accident of course. In response to why Trump won't release his taxes, Trump Jr. said, because he's got a 12,000 page tax return that would create financial auditors out of every person in the country asking questions that would detract from his father's main message. I mean, Trump Jr. didn't officially say that, but what questions could be asked? If everything is out in the open and clear, wouldn't it just be a quick and easy audit? Yeah, that's true, so maybe he is hiding something. Let's just be honest, guys. We wanna know what you guys think about all this. Will Trump Jr.'s comments really affect Trump's vote count? Or do you think it will just blow over like everything else has? I don't know, I mean, like it's, it's one thing if your wife gets called out for plagiarizing a speech. It's another thing to make a joke about a historical tragedy that millions were killed in. But as always, only time will tell. And now it's comment time. As always, at the end of every video, we read your comments, so be sure to comment on our videos for a chance to be heard. Up first, Chloe Pricefield asked, Hey Jared, is it Team Potato or Potato Squad? So obviously you're new here, you don't really know much about this whole potato thing, but uh, I have this little potato here, which was thrown on my head a couple days ago, and uh, we're known as the Potato Squad or Team Potato, or I actually say Team Potato Squad, because why not just put all three words together? <laughs> I like that. It just kind of came from one day I did a video and I just said, all right, potatoes, I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since they've liked it, so I guess we'll Team Potato Squad. Samuel Redpen asked, what did you guys do before I.O.? Well, as I'm new here, I guess I'll go first. Um, so I just got here from London, and back in London, I have my own YouTube channel as well, so I do that. I also do a lot of photography, videography, and occasionally I make a cool coffee. So I'm definitely gonna have to try some of that coffee because uh, <laughs> I'm feeling exhausted right now. But uh, before I.O., I worked at an entertainment company, which is, I actually still do that uh, as an MC. We do like parties and, and corporate events and stuff. That's really cool. And uh, I'm starting a clothing company, which is why I wear the same hat every single day. I'm actually wearing a shirt from that company, but we haven't released anything yet. This is just like in the works type stuff. I'm waiting for it. I'll be ready. Thank and you. lastly, Sonic Fan Films asked, Jared, do you think that the police force should train their officers to be calm in situations like this? I think they should, because less and less people could die. Hope you reply. Well, I just replied there. Uh, so to give you some context, we did a video on a man who, he had a loaded gun, it wasn't actually loaded, he told the officer, shoot me, kill me, the officer said, I wasn't gonna do that, tried to talk him down and, and handle the situation, another cop pulled up, shot and killed the guy, so this comment is in response to that. Okay. Uh, I actually replied to your comment on the actual video, but I will reply to it here as well. I definitely do think that the police force should train their officers to be a little more calm in those situations. Very scary in that situation, you see somebody holding a gun, you think it's loaded, like, you're not gonna take a chance. But with that being said, the first officer was talking to him, the situation could have been averted but unfortunately someone had to die what is your take on this whole police brutality situation I think it's very sad you know um, like I said I agree with you man I think officers do need to be trained to sort of have a bit more restraint but again it's their lives that's gonna be lost you know like they need to be careful with their own lives they can't take 100%. a chance that is all for us today once again my name is Jared I'm Charles and we will see you guys soon